since the beginning of this year, it has been our intention to start reinvesting in our businesses. Not just in the standard flagship store, but in a number of other areas. In fact, at the beginning of the year, we finalized plans to invest over $10 million and create 100 new jobs before Christmas by investing in standard and in the retail sector, by investing in standard and, and in Trimark. Some of you may have heard previously me discuss a new uh, Trimark store. And the intention was that this would all be in place by Christmas. Uh, as I said, over, over $10 million investment, 100 new jobs. And, and while today we're here to celebrate uh, part of that plan, the opening of standards, unfortunately, uh, we have not been able to progress the Trimart investment. Uh, it's still our intention to do so. The approval process for getting to that point has been a lot more challenging than, than we had anticipated. I'm not in a position as a result to talk about when that will happen. Uh, we would like it to happen as soon as possible because we are anxious to reinvest not only in Trimart but in all of our businesses and uh, I would encourage the powers that be to work with us to help us invest in Barbados to create jobs, to bring in foreign exchange all these things that we talk about needing for Barbados I would really encourage the authorities to work hand in hand with us to allow these things to happen because we are committed to do so as soon as possible. It's not just Standard and Trimart that um, we've invested in or plan to invest in this year. Uh, the majority shareholder in Hans Macal has invested quite a bit in Norman Center. Some of you may not know the connection, but Norman Center has been renovated. I invite you to go down to Norman Center and take a look and see what's going on down there as well. It's a, a, a lovely mall. Uh, we have plans as well to invest in our distribution company Brighton Stokes Limited uh, which is located at Barbary. The intention is to expand our warehousing facility by another acre of warehousing uh, plus offices etc. And um, there's plans ultimately to create more standard stores and if we can get over the hurdle of the first Trimart store, other Trimart stores. In fact, the plan in Trimart is to invest upward of $80 million over the next few years and create uh, four new stores. Uh, but as I said, we have to get away with the first store and then, and, and then we can move on. We are not going to pull and keep ourselves out of a challenge in economic environment if we continue to wallow in uh, an abundance of ignorance and negativity. We have really to focus are a lot more positive things in this society and where opportunities of investment such as this uh, arises we have a duty to embrace them ensure that they come to fruition and give them full support so i really want to thank Anson Macau for their continued faith in the Barbadian economy but i must say that i'm also a bit disappointed to know that at a time when thousands of Barbadians are looking for meaningful employment when some Barbadians are struggling to make ends meet, and I'm being very frank about this, I'm also an MP. You know, when, when we have these challenges among our families and societies, that I can be told that efforts to make meaningful investment in Barbados are being frustrated by the public sector. And I simply wish to reiterate what I've been saying all along. Those of us who are fortunate to have a job need to ensure that we do more to not only safeguard their jobs, but also to help those who need meaningful employment find employment in Barbados. And therefore, if an entity like Anselm Macau, who wishes to expand their trimark investment in Barbados, have applications before government departments, then the public offices tasked with dealing with those applications should not go home on evenings unless they are finished. And this silliness of one department in government sitting for weeks and weeks before passing a file on to another department needs to come to a switching call. People have options. They do not have to invest in Barbados. But where they make that commitment to invest in this fair land, from my end, we must act with a sense of urgency without diluting our professionalism to ensure that all such investments are treated um, expeditiously 
if you know, if you believe the answer is no, it is best to give a man that no answer up front or early on that to string them along weeks and weeks and months and months waiting. People can, business people cannot exist in an atmosphere of uncertainty and tardiness. Or will also offer later opening hours and seven day trading to make the shopping experience as convenient and enjoyable as possible for our patrons. Standard continues to sell quality brands for every budget and remains to be the exclusive distributor for Kenmore products in Barbados. We service what we sell and we pride ourselves on our service. Within this new store, you will find new additions in every department, including a fully functioning Frigidaire Gallery kitchen, where in the future, we will be hosting cooking and product demonstrations to share with our patrons. We have also introduced the Standard Select program that will allow our customers to use Standard as their resource for any specific appliance or that unique piece of furniture that you choose to find.